Hey guys, what's up? This is James, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to do realistic muzzle flares in After Effects. So basically, I'm working on this first person shooter video here. As you can see, I come up here and I shoot Joe a good maybe five times, six times. So I've already done three of the five muzzle flares, and as you can see, they look pretty realistic. I'm just basically going to go uh, step by step on how I did all of this and so I just wanted to show you guys how to do this so basically what you want to do is just ignore these first few muzzle flares so basically because I've already done those so basically what you want to do is you want to go down to your footage you want to find the frame that you want now um, the frame that you want to apply the muzzle flare I'm working in 24 frames a second so the muzzle flares are only going to be one frame long. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go down to your footage, hit Control D to duplicate, or Command D if you're on a Mac. Then, either Command Shift D or com Control Shift D. So just Command Shift D, and then go two frames over, Command Shift D, or Control Shift D. You guys get it. And then you just want to delete the beginning and end that you just cut off. Then what you want to do is you want to click toggle switches and modes until you see these drop down menus and you want to go to add this will brighten up your image now what you want to do is you want to go to the pen tool and select some of the general areas that would be lit up by the muzzle flash so I'm just gonna go to the base of the gun here basically just go over the gun a little bit doesn't have to be a good looking mask um, It'll look bad at first, but it'll get better. Now, as you guys can see, there's this ring up top of the gun. Um, basically, what you want to do about that is we're going to mask out the inside of the um, of the of the ring, and we're going to make that mask subtract. So we're not going to have it add to, you guys know what I mean? Anyway. So basically, we have this sort of ring in the way here. And as you can see, it has a hole in it, because it's a ring. And so basically, what you want to do about that is you just want to mask out the inside of that. And we're going to go down to the masks, and we're going to go to mask 3, which is this one. And we want to go to subtract, so then it will not show in the light in the middle of this. And okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go down to your masks, you want to select all of them, go to the drop down, and adjust the feather. You probably want to make it around 75 to 80 pixels. Then for mask two and mask three, which is just the ring, we're going to select those, and we're going to make the mask feather only be 5 pixels. Looks pretty good. I'm going to make this mask be a little bit bigger. Alright, there we go. So now we have two frames of light on our gun. And it may come off on the second frame, but that's okay. It won't look that bad. Um, so, basically what you want to do now is you want to duplicate that layer. I said, you want to duplicate that layer. And you want to set the blending mode back to normal. Then you want to drag this under your add footage. Make sure it's above your original footage, though. Then what you want to go do is go to the drop-down menu and delete the masks. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the pen tool, and you want to mask out the general area of the gun. At least, like, the first half of the gun. Because we want the muzzle flare to be behind the gun, not in front of it. So, 
basically. I'm just gonna mask out over here. And you wanna mask out. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. See, I'm I'm sort of doing a rough mask here. Um, but you just want to get the general area that would uh, be in front of the flare. I'm going to go all the way down to this green thing here. And I'm going to go over. I'm also going to mask out my arm, because the muzzle flash would be behind my arm if it did go back there. There you go. Now, again, we can see that there's the ring in here. What you want to do about that is you just want to, again, mask out the inside of the ring. And then, basically, what you want to do, what you want to do, is want to go down to masks, select both of them, bring the feather down to 5 pixels. And then there you go. You're done masking for now. So, now what you want to do is you want to take your muzzle flash. I have muzzle flashes here from the Action Essentials pack. The Action Essentials pack is my go-to pack for Action Essentials. <laughs> um, so, I'm just going to drop a muzzle flash over here. I just want to see what muzzle flash I don't have. I'm going to get a muzzle flash that's sort of more of a blob than a star. So basically what you want to do is you want to drop your muzzle flash on the timeline down under your masked layers that you just made. Oh shoot. Sorry, I forgot one thing. Make sure mask 2 here, where you masked out the ring, make sure that's set to subtract. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, I've done that a couple times already. So, basically, now what you want to do, is you now that you have your flare in, um, position it on the timeline to your liking. Position it on the timeline to so the flare starts right on that frame. And position it and resize it to your liking. That looks good. So, now we have something that looks like this. Now I already have smoke, so I don't have to really add that in, because the muzzle flares from the Action Essentials pack already has smoke, but if you don't have any smoke on your muzzle flare, you might want to add that in. Uh, just look up smoke stock footage. It may be on a black background. Um, there are plenty of other tutorials on, on that on the interwebs, so I won't go in, in depth on that. Um, yeah. So, anyway. You can buy the Action Essentials pack for around $99. Uh, it's, it's worth it. You should, you should do it uh, if you're a filmmaker and you like to do action videos. It's, it's really worth it. Alright, so now that we have the, the gun and the flare done, what we need to do is we need to add a bullet shell. This is also from the Action Essentials pack, but you can also sort of do this footage yourself by hanging a bullet shell on maybe like some fishing wire in front of a green screen and spinning it. You could probably do that yourself. Uh, so I'm just gonna drop this in. This is again from the Action Essentials pack and so this is the 8mm01 from the Action Essentials pack. And so I'm gonna resize this to be down to a bullet shell size. I'm basically going to place this like it's just coming out of the gun. <clears throat> then you want to do what you want to do is you want to hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position and click the stopwatch. Then what you want to do is you want to go forward maybe a few frames right there and you want to drag it off screen. Now this is what it looks like without motion blur.
Now this is what it looks like without motion blur. Frame by frame. This is what it looks like without motion blur. Doesn't look great. So what you want to do is you want to click toggle switches and modes until you see these boxes. And then you want to click this right here. This box is motion blur. It'll say motion blur up here on the tab here. And once that's enabled, you'll see that it looks, it may look a little too blurry. Your shutter angle, basically, if it looks too blurry uh, for the shutter speed that you're filming at, you want to hit Control K or Command K. Then you want to go to the Advanced tab and then adjust your shutter angle. This was at 180 before. So this is what it looks like before. It looked way too blurry for the shutter speed that I was using. So, what I had to do was I had to go to advanced and I set it down to about 60 and that looked good for the shutter speed that I was shooting at. And there you go. Now you have a realistic looking muzzle flash with bullet shells. So this is what the final thing looks like. There you go. So that's basically how you make realistic looking muzzle flashes in After Effects. It's pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It only takes about 10 minutes, um, and it's not that hard to learn, either. So there you go. That's how you make muzzle flashes in Adobe After Effects. Go try it yourself. If you don't, if you, if you want to try this, you can download the free trial of Adobe After Effects on Adobe's website. I'll have a link in the description below, and you can go out and try it for 30 days, and if you like it, I don't know, buy it. So it's a really good software, and it's it's great for filmmaking. I really recommend it. Anyway, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>